for your finality. Okay, now these kind of on the bottom, the, those referred to uh, 12 tone. I just had one student that had really, really good um, ear training in 12 tone, and it was, I just picked him, this is kind of a side thing for my own interest, uh, to see if he could possibly attach some kind of function that he was used to to these chords. So this is really loose. In fact, I've, I've um, on my own decided there is no four chord, but he somehow hears this four chord, and he, so you can even kind of ignore the bottom part unless that you find that interesting. I thought only two chords ever mapped out. 
And it turned out that lambda seemed to be the one that was, like if you notice, these chords are referencing lambda mode. And most of the stuff I saw was referencing lambda mode. But then uh, Heinz Boland's keyboard was clearly either gamma or dirt two or who knew. And um, definitely not lambda mode. Looks like that. Lambda mode is slightly different. And there's all these reasons I liked lambda mode. It has uh, all the has a leading tone and all the low integer ratios and all kinds of stuff. And make a nice keyboard. I really love the way the if I put the black notes on the non-diatonic notes, the top one, I thought that's so neat and tidy looking. Well, I'll explain later that it's uh, terrible to play on. I, made, I built a keyboard that's in the back. So uh, this instrument that I was playing in the video, in the last minute I switched it to DIR2 mode so I could see it. Because I feel like, see where the C's are right in the middle here? <laughs> it's really easy to find the, the tritives. Yeah. Is the <clears throat> the lower one Heinz Bolens and the upper one your your prototype? The lower one is kind of like Heinz Bolens. Okay. That's dirt two mode. His he says is, was gamma mode. Oh, okay. So it, it would just be shifted, the same key arrangement. And uh, you know it's a long. I could go on forever about that. How funny it was. Um, same thing <coughs> happened with this hexagon keyboard. I spent a lot of time. Um, got this from See Through Music. It's called a Sono. Now that sauna was a generic name for this hexagon keyboard, kind of like saying piano. And when I originally laid this out in lambda mode, all the black keys smeared together. I'll show you some charts later. When I just scooted one note over, I didn't know what mode it was yet. I just thought, well, I'll scoot that. So there won't be a leading tone. It's a slightly different mode, but I could suddenly see all the black notes were separate. Well, it turned out to be the same mode. <laughs> Somehow dirt two mode works out for the sauna and the piano. Might not be the mode of choice, it doesn't have a leading tone, but that's the only difference. Is the last note is a whole step instead of a half step. And, uh, seems like in the BP community, maybe we're not really caring what the main mode is anyway. It's kind of whatever works. Okay, so if lambda mode was the main mode, in my research I thought, well, we need to put the modes in order. So I, I ordered all the modes that, that there were. Two didn't fit, gamma didn't fit, and mole one didn't fit, or mole one, some one other one didn't fit. And so there were these blank spaces. So just think of Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, and all that. This, that's what this is. So you can see from C to C is lambda, and the yellow from E to E is mole two, so on and so forth. So I noticed there were these four blank spots, and I thought it was surprising no one had ever actually put them in any kind of order. 